Finally today, folks, new developments with satellites. Might satellites be part of the answer to signal black spots with your mobiles or not spots as they're being referred to? Well, according to Vodafone, a test they've just run in the Welsh mountains may be part of the answer. With his thoughts, of course, Professor Kevin Kern from the Ulster University is here. Well, Kevin, speak to the technology here first. Does it strike you as a breakthrough? It is. I've been teaching computer networks for 26 years and the biggest change I've seen in recent years has been the satellites because, of course, we've had GPS satellites, you know, for 30, 40 years again, but they're 22,000 kilometres above the Earth. Mm. Whereas these, what we call low Earth Earth orbit satellites, are only 500 kilometres. And, of course, nothing gets around the speed of light, so... It's much quicker when you send your signal or your phone communicates with a satellite, which is 500 kilometres mm. rather than 22,000 kilometres. So these new satellites have enabled us finally to have what well, we would have broadband speeds on the move. But, and of course, there are a lot of people, especially in rural areas in Donegal now, that are using the Starlink system again. So Starlink have 7,000 satellites in low orbit. Again, a it's Starlink where you put your own wee booster on the back of the house, no? Exactly, yeah, and you line it up with the satellites overhead and, and oh. um, you have literally broadband through the See, sky. I thought that was the case. There, they've always been satellites, but these are closer to home. They are gotcha. exactly gotcha. closer to home and then they have the communication, you know, broadcast things on there as well. But gotcha. now, finally, you can actually use your phone. Now, generally a modern phone, like an LTE, but it, you don't, it, the, the chip exists. Anything from the iPhone 14 upwards. Now you can literally communicate. But once they've rolled these out, now Vodafone have unveiled the first video call in the United Kingdom using a satellite, one of these low-hanging satellites as well. And it gets, speeds up to 120 megabits again, right, which is quite right. good. Well, but it and means and the, the, the regulators saying that the UK with phone signals, the not spots are still 9% of the whole country. That's a lot of that's a lot of space. Uh, there is, yeah. And I'd say eight eight percent of that's in Derry. Derry has awful mobile phones in this part of the world, isn't there? Yeah, he has very poor in areas, especially around here. And yeah. But so this, so how do you see it being ironed out? Or is this thing going to take another generation, Kevin? Or how does this thing work? No, no, because already we have in the United States. The United States were the first to rule out what we are to um, provide regulations on direct to sell. They call it there over here. We call it direct to device. Um, again, so that they're doing a T-Mobile have rolled out this um, with using Starlink in the United States where people can literally communicate with the phone anywhere in the desert, anywhere on top of a hill mm. to these satellites floating over, over overhead. In fact, they go around very quickly, actually. Um, yeah, but, um, and apparently some of this is already on our phones, but we don't know because it's only there for emergencies and it's only text-based, but it is fledgling already in a lot of handsets. Yeah, any, any iPhone from iPhone 14 has emergency SOS. They in other words, you can... Take it out if you if you have no cell contact whatsoever, and it will give you instructions on screen where to point your phone, because you have to have line of sight. You can't be indoors using EAD systems again. But mm. emergency SOS will tell you where to point your phone at the sky, in what direction, orientation, and literally allow you to send an emergency SOS. So we've had that, but now really what we're seeing now is actually being able to communicate with data, to have video calls, to play games even, you know, yeah, using yeah. your, your phone connecting to a satellite overhead. And I know you're not here to, you know, extend commercial preference unnecessarily, but it could do wonders for Vodafone. If they're the first adopter here, a lot of sort of people who operate at the highest levels of digital connection and all that, Kevin, they maybe be flocking to the company. Oh, of course, they're a huge player. And just a few weeks ago, in the merge, if you remember, with three, the mm-hmm. Vodafone and three merged and are now the largest... Um, mobile phone provider in the United Kingdom. Mm-hmm. So they are. Okay, so it started one in Wales and what are you talking about? Days, months, weeks, years? It, it'll be a year because uh, the regulator again is someone you, you will be well familiar with is Ofcom. Ofcom, yeah. And Ofcom actually want to spin out because again, that really what the problem here is that it's all the existing operators in the United Kingdom don't have a license for direct transmissions from space because no one really foreseen this. Right. You know, because it's generally on the ground, of course. And now that the technology has caught up that they actually have to regulate because there could be conflicts with the ground-based okay. mobile networks. Professor Kevin Curran, thank you very much.